We don't just do supermodels, you know. Because I look at them. We do the average Joe, or the average Jason. <clears throat> no, I don't mind. Yeah, having an affair against your barber is uh, risky. You know that, don't well, you? It doesn't help when you overwork my barber. Uh, <laughs> I don't overwork your barber. Your barber is reducing her hours. Because mm. I don't want your barber to have that baby in here. Why not? Because I don't fancy delivering a baby, that's why. <laughs> I can handle most things. I don't think I could handle that. No. I'd probably end up on the floor and could not get up again. <laughs> yeah, she pushes our shelf. Yeah. We have number one? Yeah, number one back and sides. Uh, do the beard as well if you don't mind. And then on the top, since I've had the long length gone, I've been wearing it a bit like this. Okay. Um, so just above the eyebrows. Okay. Because it's bugging me. So you want that much signal? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you got anything in your hair at the moment? No, just. Okay, yeah. so your hair just through the comb and your hair looks really dry? Yes. Oh, I completely agree. Yeah? I've been outside all day. So, are you putting conditioner on when you shampoo your hair? I do. Every single time? Uh, so that's a no then? Every other yeah. time. No, I do it every single time. time. I know it is. I know it is dry. Yeah, and you've got sun damage if you work outside. Oh god, yes. Anywhere has got sun damage. Burnt. Yeah. Can't blame my nose with feedback. No, that doesn't work. No. I thought it was early today. I'm going to really kill that fly in a minute. Yes. It did get a bit warm. Yeah, look, it's like a mandate. Nice and red. Um, yeah. And that's with sunscreen as well. So, like, I'm not wearing sunscreen either. Part of the job. Yeah. Yeah. There's only to take a break as well. Mika's at my house at the moment. Boy. Dogs. You don't, you ignore them all day. I do, I ignore them. Yeah. I starve them. They go home and get locked in a cupboard. I, yeah. know, I know what it's like. Locked in the cupboard, don't give them any food. No, just like every other dog owner I know. Yeah. Don't take them out on walks. And then you have these lovely clients who come in and go, walkies! Mm -hmm. And it's like, is that meant to do something? Like, you dogs don't react. It's like, nope. Right. What do you say then? I'm not going to tell you so you can <laughs> shout it. Are you still at Cross Corner? Yeah, we still do the dog park down there. Um, but um, my, my other site's the busier one of the two now. Oh right, where's that? Um, over by Flag Fen, Archaeology Park. So back of Fengate sort of way. Oh right. On the way out to where we'll see. I know Miko has said about taking the boys to um, a dog park. So I'm not sure if it's that one. But what? Max is really nervous. So he actually wears yeah, yellow leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm paying for them to meet other dogs. Yeah. Well, assuming it's a private booking, yeah. which we do, um, there wouldn't be any other dogs there. Same across the corner as well, assuming it's a private, there's no, no one else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Max is, yeah. is, he's actually got a yellow leaf that says I'm nervous, and then it's like, I need my space. Mm. It is good. It is good with other dogs from sitting on they get too close. Yeah. I was walking around the barn this weekend um, and I saw a dog with a you anxious yellow lead yeah. harness thing on yeah. um, and it took one sniff at me and then jumped up and said hello and she's like, oh, it doesn't normally do that. Yeah. I'm a doggy person. See, Max loves people and he eagerly gives kisses, eagerly. However, if a dog comes too close to him, because he's been attacked, he, he goes in. Yeah, defensive mode. Yeah. 
And that's what it is a lot of the time, it's just defensive rather well, than Well, he was, what Hamilton was he? Um, Jamie was here with Blue. The, it was a husky that attacked him and Pepsi, mm. and Blue got in. Blue is a big staffy, and he got in between Pepsi and this um, husky. Yeah. And then this guy started mouthing off at me, telling me that uh, I'm hurting his dog when his dog was uh, bitten with two of my dogs, mm. yeah. uh, and that he was going to call the police mm. on my nephew mm. uh, because his dog had bitten his dog. That's where the other half is. Oh. Yeah, I, I commute back and forwards every day now. Oh, look at you, commuter. Yeah. Means I get a 45 minute drive in the car with a coffee to wake up before I, I hope get they to are it. worth it. Oh, we are. And are you happy? Most of the time. I'm down that neck of the woods now. Oh. Come down for work during the week, I have work weekends. See, I have weekends off. Oh, and a Tuesday. <coughs> Not for long. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I work um, late. I do late nights on a Monday and Wednesday, so that is equivalent to a Saturday. Yeah. So that's why I don't work Saturdays at the moment. Yeah, I, I use the same excuse. I do a late night on a Monday and a Thursday. So, so yeah, I, I do one at the moment. I do one Saturday a month. Um, but come the second of September, um, yeah, I work every Saturday from the second of September. Mm -hmm. That's when Lily goes on that leave. September. Second of September is her last day. About that much off or do a bit more? No, that's good. Yeah. Are you replacing her? Nope. So we're talking about you like you're not here. Don't mind us. <laughs> oh no, we had this discussion earlier, didn't we, <laughs> Lily? Yeah. And people keep on saying to me, oh, so who are you bringing on? It's like, I'm not. What do you mean you're not? It's like, I'm not. Lily's saying that she's going to come back. I am not getting a maternity cover. If Lily was up in an army, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, then I would. But Lily's coming back. Well, she says that she's coming back. <laughs> So until otherwise, that is her job, and that is her chair. And if after 12 months she goes, oh, do you know what, I don't know if I can. Oh, she'll be back in six. <laughs> Get me out of this bloody house. <laughs> well. <laughs> so how old was um, Jack when Emma went back to work? Probably about six, six months. <laughs> it's all, oh, look, new baby for about six months. And it's like, no, I want my life back. <laughs> wow. See, that's another reason why I can't take someone on. Because you have to give them a contract, and it would be a nine month contract. And then if after six months Lily wants to come back, she can't because I have to wait until that contract runs out. So it's, it's all in Lily's ball. It's all in Lily's court, I should say. So 
if after 12 months Lily's going, do you know what, I don't know whether I can, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, it's her job, her chair. Means I'll have to put up with you and Stephanie until she's back. You know, you can go off with people, Jason. You know that. <laughs> I actually never had Stephanie come on anyway. You did. You did. You have when you first started. When he was um, a very, very young 17 year old. Oh, God. It's been like years. Yeah, he's 23. Is he 23 now? Yeah. Yeah, he's 23 now. So, yeah, when he first came to me as a 17 year old, I've still got the very first picture when he first started. <laughs> he keeps on telling me to delete him. No. No. So, it is to your eyebrows. Perfect. Running around doing other bits and pieces, but work wise, I'm good. Yeah? To go cash for Cali, get dog food, treats and things. We do a coffee shop on a Monday now. Where? Um, again, down at my, my field. Coffee shop? Yeah, Monday morning, 10 till 12. I'm here. I know, sorry. Um, Can't you come here? Not with dogs, no. How many dogs do you have on a Monday then? Um, Generally we have four or five regular customers um, yeah. and then our dog walking dogs, so that's another eight. Oh right. Um, and we'll bomb around and play together and the owners have coffee and chat, so it's quite nice. Very nice. But I'm out of coffee, so let's go to Passion Cali and get some. I need to start going back to the Passion Cali. So I'm going to keep going over to Co-op. I like the Co-op way. I like the Co-op. But when you've got a jar of coffee that is like nearly eight pounds, mm -hmm. actually the last time we broke, bought Diet Dell Eggbooks, it was nine pounds twenty-five, and it was like I got all the way to the till and I handed it in. And I went, yeah, I can't justify ten pounds for a jar of coffee. It's nice coffee, though. It's lovely coffee. Mm -hmm. I just can't, I can't warrant ten pounds on a jar of coffee. Yeah. So we've got co-op zone ground, we're on three pounds. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I live next door to Tesco's and still walk to the co-op. <laughs> don't like Tesco. You don't like Tesco's? No. It's always too busy. I'm not a big people person. No, so I went to Jolly's yesterday, got the dog meat. Mm, it's on my list today. Um so I think it's 12 pounds for 6 99 mm -hmm. where you get 6 cans for 5 49 in the co-op. Mm -hmm. 12 for 6 99 oh, yeah. um, And then I've got some dental sticks, their own brand, mm -hmm. 3 99 for 28 The only thing they don't do is the minis, you know yeah. these? The little ones. Okay, this is a very good one. Them ones. Ah, the little ones. Okay. The little ones. I, I prefer them to have them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Apple find them? No. No. Not unless you get a little pound. No, my mum went to Poundland and she goes, Oh, I found your um, treats. It's like, please get them. It's like, how many packets of, is there on the shelf? She goes, five. It's like, get all five. I'll have them all. And she goes, someone shouted at her about it because she took all five. Shot, that's what we're supposed to do, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I'll see you did watch that. But the other ones I get are. I've just watched the five years. I want to get that one, but the other one goes. So they're like that. Okay. So, like a pork. 
Yeah. Right, I see. Is there anything I can get to try and stop the harlequin from barking? But now if the harlequin doesn't bark, I forget to give him a treat, mm -hmm. he perhaps he barks at me. Because I haven't given him a treat. <laughs> so I can't win. Well, I'm thinking of a bag of my treats down. I, I, I make my own. You make your own? Yeah. Um, I have a dehydrator at home, so I get some like liver and kidney and that sort of thing and dehydrate it. Okay. So the little, you know, natural, just meat treats. Well, that sounds cool. I'll bring you back next time I'm doing. Thank you. Right, what am I doing with your beard? Just number one all over. Number one all over? Yeah, hack it off. That's all I do at home. I'm not going to have to take it off nicely. Mm. I put Pepsi and Hyphen out with a water mm. one time. With um, David's um, Lane. Mm -hmm. I knew you got the cut off to go through all the houses. Yeah. Where's that hair? I uh, want to jump on the scooter. I used to walk the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gone on our YouTube channel yet? No. No? no. I'm sure I told you Quite the rest of my hair, my beard grows in seven different directions. Yes, it definitely does. Mm -hmm. Right, do you want me to do it now or do you want me to do it up here? Um, no, finish where it is, maybe a little bit. Yeah? Jolly's own brand, their life stage, was the best of four. Um, so she has the, uh, the duck and brown rice, oh, right. which is the only one that she can eat, but I found one that she can eat that isn't 70 quid a bag. Yeah, I mean, um, they have Jolly's own meat selection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jolly's are really good. Yeah, well, they're amazing. Bye, Brian. They're really, really good. I mean, I, I took some of the cat food home. It's a five, uh, five kg bag of cat food. Mm -hmm. And now Milo only ever drinks, uh, only ever drinks, only ever eats go cat. Um, and she's been vomiting a lot on it. So I bought the other ones from Jolly's and she refuses to eat it. The only thing that she eats from Jolly's is Dreamies. <laughs> so I've got to take that back and get some go back. That is one good thing about them as well, they will take it back. Yeah. Are you watching the tennis? 
didn't have to do sport to watch tennis. I don't mind watching the rugby, but that's not for the sport. Um, but no, not really. Oh, King's in Scotland. Yeah, that's all good. Okay? Yeah, do you me. want any wax or gel on? Um, go on then, as I'm going out. Yeah? Yeah. Now, do you want, do you want Gloves, it looked like you just sneezed into your hands, so that's why we call it gorilla burgers. Kids love it. Oh, yeah. Anything dirty in there. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. 